Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm out at Granny Camp. It might be the last sort of warm, dry, clear day that we get out here for a long time. They've been forecasting rain to come. Yesterday they were saying rain was going to be here imminently and it was going to rain for the next 10 days. So I quickly took down my portable greenhouse. I wanted to do a video and show it carefully, but I was so afraid that the wet weather was coming that I took it down in a hurry, but I still did some video. So I'll go back and try to explain what I did. I've used my pop-up greenhouse. I think it's Eagle Peak. I bought it on Amazon. I've used it for three summers and it's been through all kinds of crazy weather and it still has held up great and it came down easily. I was able to put it away and I know that I'll be able to use it next year. I've been really pleased how the Eagle Peak pop-up greenhouse has lasted considering it cost just barely over $100. And we've had a lot of crazy weather in the last three summers. Lots of rain, lots of wind, and moose coming in the yard and the Greenhouse is still holding up with no problems. Everything on it is holding up well. It almost got caved in at the roof from all of this rain uh, last summer. And as long as you dry it out and put it away, it's gonna last. You wanna make sure though that it's dry before you store it because all of that wet mildewy, just like it would rot your camping gear, it's also gonna rot your portable greenhouse. The greenhouse is held onto the frame by some Velcro strips. So you wanna make sure that you unhook all of the Velcro strips on all four legs. There's at the top, the middle, and the bottom. You wanna unhook those straps. Next, you want to shorten the legs and they are expandable. They have a little push button and they they telescope up and down. So while you're thinking about you want it to come down, what you're actually trying to do is get the little part of the bottom of the leg to come up. So push those buttons, push those legs up, and go around to all four of them. You wanna lower the frame a bit before you try to take the cover off so that you can handle it more easily. Would have been a lot easier if I would have removed everything from the greenhouse first, but I was under a threat of weather, so I wanted to get it down as fast as possible so that I could make sure I could put it away while it was reasonably dry outside. Next, pull the cover all the way back, smooth it out, dry what you can, and then fold it up, and you can put it away.
then you can see that the rest of the frame you can lower the rest of the legs all of the way and then it folds up like an accordion you fold it all up and then you can set it aside mine has some uh, zip tied pads on it that I use to keep it from to keep the metal frame from rubbing on the cover uh, and it seemed to help it never I never got any kind of holes or anything in it so I don't know if that helped if that was actually necessary but I felt like it was a good idea to help preserve the life of my pop-up greenhouse Now I have my big water jugs that I've used to be the anchors and I can empty those out in the woods. Every year, it seems, I find some little unfortunate spruce trees that are living in a spot that's not conducive to their longevity. So I have taken them, put them in a grow bag, put them in granny camp over the summer, and then when my grandkids are here, we'll go plant them in the woods by granny camp. But they've come and gone, so I'm going to have to plant them for them this year. That happens sometimes, but that's life. You having fun at Grandma's house? Yes, Yay! Can you do I love you guys. Yeah. Okay. Here's a nice sunny little spot. See you next year. Here's a good spot because there's a tree that fell over and is dead just beyond. So we need a baby to replace it. Okay. You're okay. I'll be there in a minute. Here's your new home. Are you tangled up in the woods? Are you okay? You're okay. I'll come get you. I'll come get you. I moved the strawberries out under the trees. They have done very well through the winter and I bring them back inside in the summer and I've gotten berries from these. So that's been a great way to have some strawberries at granny camp. A few years ago, I had some raspberries in my greenhouse and then I've planted them in the woods 
at Granny Camp and you can see they're not very tall but they're doing great and I actually got a few berries off of them this year. The mat that sits at the front of Granny Camp is still kind of wet from being, being down in the dirt and the mud so I'm draping it over a chair in hopes that it'll dry out and I can sweep it off with a broom and then put it away. Maybe I'll put new broom on my shopping list for next year. What do you think? I have a tarp that I always lay underneath the greenhouse and it's dried out quite a bit since yesterday so I should be able to sweep away most of the dirt. I have my trusty layer of cardboard that I lay down under my tarp and it helps keep the weeds down and it also keeps say rocks and things from damaging that tarp which I have also used that tarp for at least three years. I used it for other things before that. So some of this stuff can really last a long time if you put it away carefully. It's all good. There's still room. I can get to my bed. I can get to my chair. I can get to my little stove. It's all good. There's a lot of room to put stuff away, but not so much to move around once you get it all stored in here. Okay. So it's there's a lot of work to do at a granny camp, but putting away the greenhouse is not very difficult. I hope you'll like my video. Share it with someone else you think might find it interesting. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.